Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium Ninja for Selenium Training. Today we are going to learn one of the most important concepts according to me that is how to run a script on an already open browser. Guys, when you are working on real time projects, sometimes the projects are so big it takes around 30 to 40 minutes to uh, execute the automation testing. I have worked on that and this concept has helped me a lot in handling the difficult situation in that. What I used to do, I used to uh, run my script on an already open browser from a particular slot and I can easily reduce more much of my time to simplify the automation testing and once I complete that I uh, I just summed up all the test cases that I have created and just and then just ran from top to bottom so this is a very very important concept which you can use to reduce your time so let me just uh, I have created this project previously and I have added some of the jar files let me just create a simple class file here and name it already open you can name it anything all right guys so to run your script on an already open browser we have a command that we have to use in the CMD and uh, that is basically a debugging command which we can use in our CMD so let me just the chrome dot this website gives a better understanding what the concept is if you want to uh, get uh, get to know more about this concept you can refer to this website all right so for that we have to use the command chrome dot exe this is a library and this is the remote debugging port and this user data directory is a folder you have to create in your uh, uh, cmd in your uh, local disk sorry okay so let me just copy it from here all right guys and use it in my command prompt cmd is chrome.exe the remote debugging port is 1010 you can use any four digit port of whatever you want suppose let's use 6767 you can use any port number and here in the user data directory you have to provide the location of the folder uh, uh, which helps it to you uh, uh, use the necessary files so I have created a folder also and it's a simple folder in my D drive you can see it is empty this time so let me just copy the path and give the path here that's it guys so uh, now uh, execute this command one browser will be invoked we have our browser here now we will be trying to execute our script here all right guys let me let's go with some of the default settings All right now we are here now we will be executing our script on this particular browser so let me just go to one URL any URL suppose Facebook let's go to the English version here all right now we will try to fill these boxes with the with the help earlier what we used to do we used to write the code driver.get url and in that driver.get method we paste the url this time we won't be doing that so let me just ex let us execute our script so the first step is to invoke the chrome browser all right guys you have to use this because web chrome driver provides some of the methods you can say that we have opened already in browser so there are some uh, methods some interfaces that we use in the script that are pro uh, present in the web driver dot chrome dot driver all right so in the previous uh, video we have shown how we have created the object of the chrome options class 
so let me just create another object here import the packages for the chrome options all right options dot set experimental option and here you need to provide two things one is the debugger address all right debugger address and the second is the local host that you have used to run your browser if you remember here to open this browser we have used a local host a port number 6767 so the same host local host we have to provide it here so this way it will be able to recognize this chrome browser that we have already opened all right and the next thing is let me just copy that to save time simple and here we will pass this as argument because uh, we have to tell our web driver driver object that hey there is a, a chrome options method used in uh, in this script so please take a look to that import the packages for the web driver and chrome driver now we are ready to go let's inspect on this text box so here we are we have an id here so let's go with the id this time so id is very fast driver dot find element by id and we need to send the data for that we have a method called send keys let's use selenium ninja at the rate of gmail.com all right guys now in the password section we have another id i think yes the id is pass so let's use pass this time and let me just copy this to save the time and here use pass and send the password as selenium ninja so let us execute our script we don't have to wait for the our execution all right guys so this is our browser and let me just execute the script from here remember we have not given the url all right so it our script doesn't know uh, the url but it knows the local host number so when we execute our script it you see on the right hand side it has filled the text boxes with the data that we have sent through our script this is the beauty of selenium this chrome options is a classical options for me that i have utilized to save a lot of time i hope guys this video was helpful you have nothing to do anything else you you can uh, you can execute the script the way you do before just simply providing the details and everything else nothing you don't have to worry anything ab about you can save a lot of time i hope guys this video was helpful stay tuned with the playlist and keep supporting